In this module, we're going to look at creating vector graphics. Now, so far in the class, we've been working solely with raster-based images, which are pixel-based. And Photoshop also has the ability, like Adobe Illustrator, to create vector graphics, which use lines and points on a graph, which also enable us to draw curves as well and create shapes using these lines and curves and uh, then also fill those with pixels and or add pixels along a path. This is different than raster base in that the paths themselves are resolution independent. And once we create the shapes and the paths for our vector art, we can then make it as big or small as we want without losing any quality. So what we're going to do in this set of exercises is look at how to use the pen tool, first of all, in Photoshop, and then look at how to create some art. So I want you to start out with looking at this vector art here. So there are a lot of images here, and it can it'll show you a lot of differences as to what can be done with vector art. So you can see it can be very line art type of um, drawing here, or it can be a little more sophisticated, very more realistic looking like these examples here. So take a look at that, and this will give you an idea of what you can do with vector graphics in Photoshop. So once you've looked at that, I have a couple of um, references here on how to draw with pen tool. So I highly recommend you look at this because this is going to give you the basics on how to draw with the pen tool. I'll also look at that in the tutorials, but this will help a lot to get you uh, started and understanding where the tools are. And then in the tutorials, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tracing an image. And I would recommend you use my image first because this is going to make it easier for you. Once you've got that down, then you can start creating your own images. Um, but this image here, this car here was actually is actually a full vector graphic. There's hundreds of layers here that were created in Photoshop and it's a combination actually of vector and raster based, which is what we have the ability to do in Photoshop way better than what you can do in Illustrator is combine the two and get more realistic, I believe, looking vector graphics, which are actually not true vector graphics, but it's kind of a combination of the two. So that's what we're doing in the tutorials here. And then also this is going to culminate in your next project. So project number four. And this project, you're going to be required to create a artistic vector graphic. So first of all, you got to complete the tutorials. Here's the car image that I traced. Do the tutorials as many times as you need till you get it down. And then trace your own photo or draw another vector image from scratch. Be creative. I'm not really requiring any rules here to this one. Uh, there's also going to be a greater peer review. The requirements are that it needs to be 1200 by 1600 or 1600 by 1200, or you could do a 1600 by 1600 square or larger. You can always go larger. And I want you to use all the tools and techniques that were used in the tutorials. Save it as your last name underscore vector.jpg, do not resize, and then attach the file. Once you've completed that project, you're going to post a discussion, and then, like I said again, there's going to be a graded peer review. So please let me know if you have any questions as soon as possible, and I can't wait to see what you come up with.